this week on Nation, the Window Cleaners podcast, we're talking all about printing. Do you print? What do you print? If you do or you don't, either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's going on, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? Thanks for checking us out. If it's your first time, have a look around. We have 150, 160 plus episodes. We've been doing this for three solid years every single week. Check it out. You got a lot of content to catch up on. If you are just catching up, binge away, my friend. Let me know how many episodes you watched in a day. I think the record is still six solid hours of it, which is 12 episodes. It's awesome. Uh, but if you are one of the cool kids and somebody who watches every episode, you give me the thumbs up like Ryan Fuster on the videos, you comment, but most importantly, you buy your supplies through me. Thank you. It is because of you that I can afford hair gel or whatever. Name brand hair gel. That's the new thing, by the way. People always tell me what I can buy name brand wise, and it's the most ridiculously awesome thing. So if you do buy anything, shoot me a text, 862-312-2026. Say, yo, Jersey, it's all in my cow, uh, cart. And then at the end of the show, I'll give you a code for uh, 5% off and free shipping. So stay tuned to that. But this week, we're talking, again, all about printing. And we're talking to my man, Steve. What's up, man? Nothing much, man. Good to see you. How you doing? I'm doing great. Now, you're one of my favorite people to see in person at The Huge, but it's not happening, so I don't get to shake your hand. So it's like it's like a virtual high five for you. Well, we graduated to hugs, so... Mm, yes, you know, true. That's I'm going to miss out on that warm hug. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, yeah. that we can't do online. I'm pretty sure that's uh, illegal, but we'll, we'll see. But uh, if anybody <laughs> lives under a rock or doesn't know who you are, tell us who you are. Uh, I'm Steve Fishgrun. I am one of the people who runs the windowcleaner.com printing department. So we actually used to originally be at cost printing. And then back in September of 2019, at cost printing moved right under windowcleaner.com to make it a better uh, user experience uh, so that you can order your tools and all that stuff while also ordering your printing. You don't need separate logins anymore. It's all done under one account. So it really was about just making the user experience better, you know? Nice. And, and so far, everyone's been really happy with it. So, um, yeah, I'm one of the people who just runs the program. Uh, I've been printing for since 2005. Um, I'm a direct mail expert, so I like that stuff, you know? It intrigues yeah. me. It gets me excited. It's weird. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That's uh, really weird, but everybody watching gets excited with window cleaning and pressure washing. So there's all of us weirdos out there. Everyone's got their thing, you know? Mine That's is right. marketing and, and, and mail. I look at the mail every day. I get excited. So yeah. whatever. <laughs> See? That's like when we go into restaurants and we're looking at the windows like, oh, these are dirty windows. I could, uh, I could talk to the manager. You do the same thing. You actually like junk mail, so. Yes, I love junk mail. Uh, I, I absolutely do. And, and just like you said, that is... 100% true. I'm analyzing the mail all the time. I'm looking, I see dollar signs when I see, you know, large mailers or I see something really funky that I've never seen before. I'm like, that custom job costs so much money. I want that job. <laughs> no, you right. know, it, it yeah, the ones that have like a mini magazine with like uh, glued on things in the front and everything else. You're like, oh, yeah. that's good stuff. Marlboro cigarettes. I used to be a smoker for a long time, a heavy smoker. And I quit years ago, but Marlboro Cigarettes still sends me these amazing direct mail pieces, like these packages with all this, like, they really want me back. You know, I guess yeah. they're still making lots of money on smokers because they, they spend boatloads of money on this stuff. It's crazy. Could you imagine? Could you call them and be like, yo, I used to smoke. Uh, I would love your business. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely a possibility. Um, I'd almost you be scared around. to take on that, that project, though, because when you're dealing with something that's so custom, typically the client is very, very, like, you know, like difficult to deal with almost, yeah. and they want to back and perfect. forth. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And there's a lot that can go wrong. So it's like, it'd be nice, and it'd be a huge chunk of change. But, you know, I'll, I'll stick with, like, the mid-level customized stuff. Yeah. You know See, I mean? if you got the big uh, Marlboro account anyway, you'd start wearing Gucci shoes, you know, and other fancy, fancy things like that. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm like, uh, you know, I, 
even if I was filthy rich, I'd still be wearing a black t-shirt and jeans every day. Like, I, I, I don't know. That's just how I was raised. I shopped at JCPenney my whole life, Ooh. even when I could have, like, not. But it's like, you know, and I have apparel vendors, so we'll get these shirts for nothing. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah, but yeah. I would like a pair of Gucci shoes because there's that one guy who wears the Gucci shoes and, you know. Mm. I think those shoes are actually for sale right now. I think he's got to pay some other bills. So (laughs) that might be, (laughs) might be your chance. It's very possible. You know, I have noticed that it's been the same pair of Gucci shoes for like six years now. So it's like (laughs) playing off on the same, uh, the same fanciness. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe, maybe one day I'll be that, that baller. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of junk mail, you love it yourself. And I love EDDM for window cleaners and all that kind of talk to us real quick for somebody who hasn't heard of EDDM. I know we've done shows on and things like that, but give us like the quick elevator pitch on EDDM and why it works. Elevator pitch. Okay. Uh, EDDM is awesome. It's literally a program that was built for Uh, service-based businesses, contractors, restaurants, retailers, anyone who's looking to saturate their local market. Uh, So anyone who has like a target area that they're looking to gain business in. It's phenomenal because you don't need a permit. You don't need to purchase a mailing list, which can sometimes be expensive. Uh, You don't even need a mail house because even though you can pay a printer or a uh, mail house to process and send out your mailing, you can actually send out EBDM mailings yourself. So all you would really need is to order postcards. You can order postcards from anywhere, any you know online site, <clears throat> windowcleaner.com's printing department, wherever you want to order them. Uh, so it's really just an awesome program that's built for super small businesses, startups, and also you know super large businesses who are looking to send out just tons of pieces at a low postage rate. So the postage rate for to send out like a four by six uh, to a mailing list is usually about 28 to 35 cents a piece. To send out a large EDDM mailer is currently 0.191 cents per piece. So you're saving a boatload of money on postage. It's like half the cost and you get to send out super large pieces, which typically if you send something like this to a mail uh, mailing list, it's going to cost you like 50 cents. So yeah. oh, that's the, that's the, 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 quick long wind eddm thing which is crazy a big piece you can ship out for 19 cents we'll say 20 cents round up 20 cents a piece but downside is you're kind of blanketing right it's like uh like back in world war ii when they would like carpet bomb a place with flyers you know it's almost that same concept so you're not getting the 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 roi that you would with direct mail and specific people that you know but because because it is so cheap and you're sending out so many pieces, you can really, really clean up with EDDM. I mean, that's one of the ways uh, Chris Lamborghinis from um, uh, WCR started his business. And I know a lot of guys that do that EDDM stuff. And it's, it's amazing. If you guys don't know, that is the, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, all it needs to have is a little insignia. So there's no, yeah. there's no, you know, addresses. You can make up a whole batch. You can do an entire batch of 10,000 pieces and send them all out in batches. You don't have to stamp them or label them or anything. They're all general. And that's, that's the beauty of it. The work is done by us as the person sending the mailer mm-hmm. and the post office just picks one off and, and puts it in every single mailbox. And that's why the program so stinking cheap. Yeah. And um, just to comment on why the postage is so cheap when you're dealing with a mailing list um, or you're dealing with any sort of mail automation, Uh, If you just put a mailing label and a stamp on a postcard, a person literally has to physically sort your piece. They have to look at the zip code. They have to sort your piece. There's a lot of hands-on labor. If you work with a mail house to send out to a mailing list, what we'll do is we'll barcode your piece so that there's minimal manual labor, but there still is manual labor. There's still, they have to be sorted into all sorts of different bins shipped out to different uh, sectional facilities. EDDM, like you said, it's just the indicia, you know, at the top, it'll usually say local postal customer. There is no sorting. You give the pieces to the post office or we give the pieces to the post office and basically say this route in this town, every town is broken up into routes. 
send them to this route. So they will actually, the mail carrier will take one of your pieces and just put it with every stop on that route. And, yeah. um, you know, you had mentioned about the carpet bombing and, and, and really just like saturating an area. We call that shotgunning. Yes, you can do that, but we typically don't recommend that. You can still do what we call sniping, where you're actually looking at specific towns. You're able to pull some demographic data uh, from the USPS or other sites. And we try to educate the client to really do some homework so that they can laser focus in and say, all right, this town, I'm going to only hit these two routes. A town might have 20 routes. I'm only going to hit these two because the average household income is 150,000 plus and the average age is, you know, 45 plus. And yeah. we'll encourage them to just send to those routes and continue to send to those routes. Hit them three or four times over a two month span. I'd rather a client hit the same person three times than hit three person, three people one time. You know, yeah. I'd rather- That's you how What's that? I was just gonna say, that's how EDDM works. Like the people yeah. who mess it up is they take it and they send, I got 2,500 pieces and I send it to 2,500 different people. It's, you can't, you gotta keep touching them and keep sending that piece, which is hard for people to understand. Absolutely. And um, it, I how really- many, How many people are in a route? Just, just so when you say that, what's typical about 500? Is that what you're seeing? Typical routes are anywhere from 250 to 500. Uh, sometimes you'll get some anomalies. You'll get some towns that have a route that's like 80 people, or you'll have a route that's massive. It's like 700 people. But 250 to 500 is the usual range, which is good because yeah. the minimum order for EDDM to send out from a post office is 200 pieces. So really it's like one route. You know, you have yeah. to hit at least one carrier route. Nice. And, and the uh, big thing with, sorry, yeah. I was going to say the big thing with that EDDM too, is that when you're looking at routes, their website makes it so absolutely perfect. Like you're looking at a map. If you mm -hmm. haven't used it, uh, you can give the address if you know it in a second, because I never remember it. I think it's usps.gov forward slash EDDM or something like that. Dot com forward Dot slash com. EDDM. And then right go. when you go there at the very top, it'll, it used to say use mapping tool. Now it says like root search or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But it's right there at the top banner. You click that and it brings you to the map. Yeah, and you're looking at a map with like roads, right? Like a Google map. And as you click on a list of all the routes, it actually pulls up and lights, highlights the, the roads yeah. that it's on. So as you add them, it'll show you the exact place that you're sending EDDM. It's actually probably one of the best programs, even though it's a government program, if you will, it's one of the best programs that I've ever seen for just ease of use. It just, yeah. it makes the whole process so, so stinking easy. Oh yeah. It, it's, you know, you mentioned it's a government program. Um, there are, there are sites out there that have sort of like LinkedIn, they have like an open API and they have their own maps and they have their own route selection tool. I have never seen one that actually just works as fluidly as the USPS is. The USPS yeah. does give you the demographics and all that. So like, if you're, if you're on a site that, you know, they do all the EDDM processing for you and they have their own tool, you can use that site. But really your best bet is to just go to the USPS.com forward slash EDDM and then click on that mapping tool, pull up an Excel spreadsheet, say, you know, I, this is the best zip code where I get the most money and plug that in, look at all the routes, see like, oh, this section, the average household income is 60,000. So I'm not going to look at this. And then just start keeping the spreadsheet of the zip code and the routes that make sense for you to market to. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, before we get too much farther, this is uh, printing through windowcleaner.com. And if you guys want to give me that virtual high five of awesomeness, just mention my name, say that I sent you and uh, your printing order actually tags me. I get credit for it. So keep that in mind. But all this stuff we're talking about, Steve and Jillian, they can all help you in figuring things out, putting pieces together, getting things printed. You guys even do bundling still, correct? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So no when you, when you talk about it, you could literally with a click and a couple extra cents, get things bundled in a package just like this. So now all of a sudden this bundle can go right to the post office with a header sheet. It's, it's absolutely simple. If you guys are scared of it, remember that if you print, what, what is a, 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 just an average cost on say 2,500 EDDM available postcards? How much is the printing on that side? 
I've got no idea, man. You want me to pull up some numbers? I um I could tell you I want to say I have a number in my head. If you wanted to print ten thousand eight and a half by eleven, um, which is the recommended size to go with, that's a whole other discussion about you know what size to go with. I want to say it's like seven seventy or something like that. Um, so it's like seven wow. cents a piece. That I could be blatantly wrong with that number, yeah. but I want to say it's in that realm. Um, so just, you're you're. You're talking, by the way, just throwing that out there. Obviously, those numbers are all on the site. You can check it all out at uh, windowcleaner.com forward slash printing to check it out. Or you can call me or text me. But just so you know, a piece of mail that is printed and sent can cost you like 26, 27 cents. Exactly. A piece. Exactly. Printed and sent. That's why EDDM That's works so stinking well. Like you, you can't. I mean, do you remember going to, uh, you know, your uh, Photoshop place up the street and it was, you know, five cents a copy for a black, you know, one-sided black on, you know, canary paper or something like, yep. that's why the program works so stinking well. It's, it is a perfect marketing vehicle for, especially for new businesses. And, and the beautiful thing, like there's such massive price breaks on printing. Uh, you'll see that the, the majority of the cost for an EDDM mailing isn't the printing or even mailing service, it's the postage. Yeah. Uh, because I did pull up some numbers. Let's see, uh, six by nine, 10,000. All right, so six by nine, 10,000 is 786. So that's like seven cents a piece. Um, I forgot what I, where I was going with this. Oh yeah, so there's massive price breaks on printing. So even if you don't want to fork over, you can't afford to fork over and send out 10,000 pieces at once. You can order 10,000 postcards and then just decide to send out maybe a thousand a week. Yeah. If you're a one man show and you don't want to get a lot of phone calls necessarily, but you want to ease into it, you can save the money on the printing and also just like, all right, a thousand pieces. The postage is $190, right? $191, 19.1 yeah. cents a piece. So like, you can do it in spurts and that's what makes it so awesome for the smaller companies who are really just trying to like get their name out there. Um, you know, they, you should always think about the fact that marketing to your existing customer base is significantly less expensive. You've already acquired them. You've already spent the money to bring them in. So sending like a, a bulk mailing to your client base through a, a mailing list is a very, very good thing to do. But when you're a new business, you might not have that client base to mail to. You need to start bringing them in. So EDDM is like one of the best ways to do it. Yeah. And, um, Another. I was going to say, side note, for any new businesses or any like people who are just starting out, if a print company or a marketing company tries to convince you that you need to send out 10,000, 15,000, 25,000 pieces, don't listen to them. You, you don't. I mean, sometimes if you have the money, you can, but a lot of these companies out there really just want to make that quick buck. They don't care about your ROI. They'll tell you to shotgun an entire zip code, knowing damn well that you probably are not going to get a great return. And then your, your entire marketing budget is gone and you're not able to send out to those same people again because you don't have the, the money to send out another 25,000 pieces. So yeah. you always want to work with a company that's going to advise you to start small and hit the same people numerous times, hit them three times, put out yard signs, do, you know, Facebook advertising to the same area, you know, multiple yeah. touches. I'm telling you, we talked about in the episode on EDDM, you have to do, and I, my opinions three times, you have to do three mailings to one person at a minimum. Every time you do a mailer, it gets better and better and better. So if somebody wants you to do 10,000 pieces to just 10,000 people, you're going to have a terrible ROI. Literally, you can send out your first batch and, and get a really, really crappy ROI. And a lot of people stop right there. They go, well, I'm not sending any more out. I didn't get an ROI. But the thing is, as soon as people see that second one within a week's time or week and a half, or I like to send them really close like that. People go, ah, oh, and then all of a sudden their brain recognizes it. So they stop. The third time, they, it's like in their brain. I know I've seen this. I know, like, I know these people, and they stop and see. Your ROI goes up with E to DM every single time you send it. On a, on a let, me, let me interject and ask you, uh, well, ask everyone who's listening, how many times have you seen an offer for something or gotten a direct mail piece or gotten an email and was interested but forgot or 
took that mail piece and put it in a pile that winds up somewhere. Like I have so many piles that have things in them. Like that's yeah. what ends up happening. Some people might want your services and then they forget, or they remember a month later and the coupon expired and you know, they end up not calling you because they, they're not getting that percentage off. That's why you need to hit them multiple times. You want them to say, shit, I was supposed to call this company. Let me call them now. Oh, call to action. Oh, I get a free uh, gutter downspouts flushed out if I place my, you know, yeah. uh, service order. So like, you got to hit them multiple times, yeah. 100%. Another thing that Steve talked about that I'm a huge, huge proponent about, and we didn't even prep this. You're just talking literally on the same scale of everything that I love, but is sending out something like this. And I'm going to try to uh, cover the person's uh, information. These are samples, but this is a four by six little postcard. Cannot be sent EDDM. But you take a quarter on the back right there and you can put your, your mailer. So what I do is monthly in the nice weather, I'll send something out, different cards every single month to the existing customers. Because again, you've, you've gained their trust. That's the hardest thing to do is gain their trust. Sending out a postcard just keeps you relevant. It's the reason McDonald's still has billboards when every human in the United States knows if they're two years old and older, what a McDonald's is. They got to stay relevant. You know what I'm going to say, Josh, um, something that I don't talk about a lot, but I need to talk about more, especially on the forums and on pro and stuff like that. We have a lot of our, our clients who we have them sending out greeting cards, generic greeting cards. You just order it with your logo on it. Don't put thank you. Don't put anything on it because you want to be able to use them for multiple things, whether it's a birthday yeah. coming up of one of your customers, either way handwritten greeting cards with a special coupon code inside saying like, Hey, Mary, you know, Scott checking in, blah, blah, blah. Just following up with you. Springtime's coming. Here's a coupon for when you're ready to book your appointment, hand, write the card, hand, write the two and hand, write the return address envelope. It's guaranteed to get open. And the clients that we have doing that are making a killing. It's a personal touch. A, you're no longer this big business. You're no longer one of those, you know, dreaded franchises that you see out there. Like you are a, a company that cares about your client base. You mm -hmm. took the time and those people are so easy to bring back for future services as long oh, as you yeah. did a good job with them. You know? Yeah, exactly. Now say you've been in business for a while. You got a little bit more cheddar to spend and you're doing some, what we talked about uh, unsolicited bids or proposal packets this is what I used. I used an even bigger one, which was the full size, but this is the zero manual. It's a little mini book mm -hmm. and it has high gloss front, high gloss back. It feels like there's value to it, but you put something together that looks like this and you put all your information, your services and everything else in something like this. And this is what you give to your high end clients. Or even when you leave a regular bid, this blows people away. Like there's yeah. so many facets to uh, printing side of things that completely, like you said, Marlboro still must have some money. They want you back. They got all that nice kind of stuff. You look at it every single time it comes and you know, you're not going to start smoking again, stuff like this. This is what gets looked at when the other stuff from everybody else that's written on the back of a napkin gets just thrown away. Like yeah. stuff like this. And again, talk to Steve on different things, but I wanted to talk about that because I've talked about this before without having a sample. I told you I wanted some of the stuff. So uh, you sent it over, but this is what blows people away. If it blows you away, it's going to blow your, your uh, potential customers away. Yeah. Anyone who's, who's placed an order on windowcleaner.com and gotten one of these zero books, um, just check out the quality of it. Like, and it's not that expensive to get something like this made for your company. We do a lot of presentation folders uh, for some businesses with like stagger cut flyers, a presentation folder, Typically by nature, folders are a little more pricey than other things because there's actually a lot of hands-on work that goes into that. Yeah. Um, but think about that though. Really, who cares if you're spending five, even $10? Like it's usually a couple bucks, but like exactly. if you're spending five or $10 to land a $10,000, $5,000, $2,500 job, it doesn't matter. If you're going to meet with a property manager who manages multiple properties or meet with a, an owner of a building, that a massive skyscraper or even just you're going around rich areas with these houses that have a ton of glass and you have a meeting with them or you're going to give a proposal. If you can't fork over 
put a dollar number, a $2 complete package of like a folder with a brochure in it and a flyer and a nice business card. I won't even get started on, on business cards. Like we have a war going on with uh, all County and uh, oh, these are so amazing. They're like, it makes me jealous. This is like so much better than anything I've ever made ever. I hope Peter Artusa doesn't mind me saying this. I really hope he doesn't mind me, but Peter Artusa, I, he spent close to a thousand dollars on those business cards. It's so impressive. It's one of the most impressive business cards that you'll ever see, especially in this industry. So when he goes to a customer and he hands over this card, this insanely thick ray spot UV, die cut, laser cut, foil, when he hands this over, you know that that is a reputable company who clearly cares about their image. You're in the, the, the business of beautification. You're in the business yeah. of like, making people's homes and storefronts and buildings beautiful again you can't hand them a business card that looks like it was ordered from vista or yeah. you know like spend the money get the quality because when you're going and you're doing that meeting where you're trying to get that bid when you hand over quality and you show that you care about your branding i guarantee you you're gonna you're gonna land more jobs your conversion rate is going to skyrocket you know? It shows you're serious about your business is what it is. Cause there's so many of us, we always talk about bucket bobs kind of jokingly, but you're always competing against the other guy. Like mm -hmm. I always tell them when you do proposal packets, put everything. I put my guarantees. I put associations. I put logos for all the groups that I'm in. I put uh, my everything in there because I want to blow them away. Mm -hmm. I want somebody who gets a single sheet of paper. That's a, you know, a carbon copy paper. That was what they got on this big, you know, $5,000 project. I want to give them stuff that goes, Hey, guess what? We care yeah. about what we're doing. Here's what I have. Those cards. I don't even want to throw it away and I'm not hiring Peter. I love Peter, but I'm not hiring him. I'm not even in the same state as him. So right. the cards are absolutely amazing. And just to touch on one other thing that we talk about the advertising side of things I'm printing is yard signs. <laughs> if you guys haven't done these, this is like the hardest thing to like put in there, but he's got one in the background. Yard signs, you, people do them. You put them up in uh, houses that you are currently doing work and say, hey, we'll knock an extra 20 bucks off your job if I can leave this up for a week or whatever. We always do is write it down and then you can go back a week later and you know, on your route, you're popping signs off or whatever. People are happy. You're advertising to people. They're, there's awesome. There, there's just so many facets to this where there's a lot of guys out there who want like the cheapest option, but then it portrays them or they don't even do printing because they just don't think about it. And it, it's, or, they, or they listen to naysayers who said like, Oh, I did EDDM. I got nothing from it. There's a reason why we have customers who order 20,000 pieces two, three times a month. Yeah. Uh, some of them because they have figured it out. They've taken the time they had, they're ordering all those. And some of these people are actually sending those all out at once but they're still doing their homework. They're sending it where it, where it needs to go. They're not just hitting these entire towns. It works. And with the yard signs, if you, if you look at it, if you get a customer on like, let's say a carrier route that you're targeting for EDDM and you hit that route two, three times, and you also start putting up yard signs in that route where people are driving around and you also do five round door hangers after mm -hmm. you finish a house, you know, you go hit the two across the street and two next to you, three across the street, two next to you. So yard signs, EDDM postcards are hitting. They get the door hangers. They're seeing you on Facebook. You know, if you do Facebook advertising localized, like you are just legitimizing your brand. Oh, yeah. They're seeing you everywhere. And no, no bucket Bob or no, some, I've, I've, I've talked to some people and they like, coming off as like a one man show because a lot of their clients like to, you know, work with small companies or family owned businesses. You can still show that you are a smaller family owned business, you know, with a few employees while still being a very legitimate, trustworthy brand. And you need to find that happy medium. You, me personally, I just the kind of guy I am. I look at reviews for companies. I look at, has this company been around for a while? Do they look like an established legitimate brand? Do I want to let them in my house? Like that's important to me. So when you start touching people in all these ways with the lawn signs and the door hangers and the EDDM and the, and the Facebook advertising and all that, you're golden, especially if you focus on little areas, like find the best carrier routes that are within 10 minutes of your shop, you know? So you're not traveling super far. 
and just yeah. start blasting them. Sorry, I yeah, get excited. I, I, I'm sorry, I get excited about this. I'm on the same <laughs> side. Printing for me, I always felt like always differentiated me and my company from everybody else because everything we put out was like blow you away good. When your piece yeah. is so good, people save it. That means you've done something right. So it, printing is awesome. If you're watching again, I can help you out. Steve can help you out. Jillian can help you out. Any of us with the printing stuff, uh, let us know. Uh, if you guys got questions, you know, my contact information, but uh, they're really, really good to deal with. Uh, Steve, by the way, if somebody wants to call you or Jillian direct, what's the direct number there? Uh, the direct number is, hold on, let me... <laughs> On the spot. I put them on the spot. I told, you know, I wasn't prepared for that. I like, you knew me. I like to wing this stuff. I, I talk about it all day. So I'm winging the direct number for the printing department is 862-312-2010. And you can also email us at printing at windowcleaningresource.com. Um, you can also find us on pro window cleaning, uh, the WCRA, PWRA message boards, things of that nature. Uh, you can bother Josh. Josh can connect you with us. And, um, you know, we, we don't currently have any promotions going on, but if anyone's listening who hasn't used uh, the printing program before, not only do we offer custom design if you need it, but the windowcleaner.com has hundreds of like really amazing industry proven uh, awesome templates that, that you can order like the dirty card. This has made We've printed millions of these over the years, just so many of them. And it's, it's tried and true. So those are available on windowcleaner.com. And we also offer an edit service, uh, which is $50. And that's where we will edit these templates for you. So you don't even have to touch Photoshop or Illustrator. But honestly, for anyone who's listening, anyone who mentions this, come to us. If you want to place an order, we'll hook you up with a free edit service, no charge. You'll save nice. $50. We'll give you insights on eddm if you need them well you know whatever you need we're we're here to help you guys nice i love it well thanks guys for watching again if you are one of the cool kids or want to be one of the cool kids and you want to place an order through me my number is 862-312-2026 call me let me put your order in for any supplies you possibly need the code this week is steve if you say steve your code We'll get you 5% off and free shipping on the product side of it. Um, uh, if you have any questions, again, let me know. Call me, email me, jersey at windowcleaner.com. I really, really appreciate it. And again, guys, if you want to order something and you order through them, let them know that uh, you heard it here or saw it here. And I think you guys love doing that. So uh, virtual high five to all of you. But uh, again, thanks for watching. Watch everything. Go out there and print as much as you can. Be proud of your company, and until next week, go out there and be epic.